right there. How is this setup different to other teams you've raced with? It's like night and day. You know, like this team, everything is, you know, done for you to the extreme, you know? But like my first tour when I was at Balawal, I brought my own, like, I was actually S SIS stuff yeah. to the race. So, um, you know, those go bars, the big ones yeah. back in the day? Yeah. Um, just bring, yeah, so uh, the, the stuff they had was a bit rubbish, so you making your own bottles. Oh, yeah. It was, that's just night and day to be in. Who's the best advocate for performance and nutrition? Um, well, I think Froomey was always into his nutrition, wasn't he? Yeah. Like, these days, I like, guess, obviously a big thing, but back then, it was kind of getting more important. It's always been important, but nobody's really thought about it too much, and he was always looking at different things, wasn't he? Always, like, Tenerife camps. Oh, he had so much, like, that stuff we called baby porridge. I've no idea what it was, but... Um, and he's had, like, um, those, like, fish... Look like fish spawn things, what yeah. are they called? I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. And he wasn't too bad a rider, was he? Who's got the worst fashion sense? Uh, you're up there, actually. I'm holding him there. Who's... I got I got an easy answer. Who? Tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think of him, yeah. 100% Tail. Yeah. Just a bit too too out there. Yeah. yeah. He's a bit hippie, though, isn't he? Yeah. A bit like a woo. Yeah. Earth. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite post-race meal? We don't have it all the time, but when we do, pizza and beer on the bus. Because um, you have it straight away as soon as you walk into the bus. We had it in Norway, that I just did. Fresh pizza, proper Italian. Um, it's washed down with beer. Nice. Is what you eat different if you've had a win? I guess that's relevant to if it's at the end of the race or mid-race. If you win a stage in the middle of a race, nothing changes because you've still got the, the day ahead, um, which is still a huge focus. But if we get to the end of the race and you've won or you win a one day, normally you'll have something a bit more mm. tasty. End of the tour, we normally have burgers, don't we? That's yeah. always good. After stage 20, after stage 21, it's just mm. on the sauce. How do you relax and reset between races? <laughs> it's a bit different now after having Max. As you know, when once you've had kids, it's uh, totally different, isn't it? You don't really relax, but you switch off and you do um, just spend time with them. And then suddenly like, you realize that like, what you do is irrelevant really yeah. for them. Um, it's not because you get paid to do that and that feeds them, so it's actually quite important. Isn't it? <laughs> Describe what the setup is like at the team hotel. I think one misconception, firstly, about team hotels is that it's all glitz and glam, and it's not. It's a lot of them. So there's some great hotels, and there's some um, mm. not so nice, and that's the majority are not so nice. The majority are not so nice because it's provided by the race, the accommodation, and if you think you can have throughout the teams and the staff, three, four hundred people plus media. Commissaires, everything you got to fit five, six, seven hundred people into hotels in a village where you finish, where there's not many hotels. So you can get in some pretty average hotels, but the team do the best to accommodate us and make sure they're as nice as possible. You know, bed in, aircon. There's not a lot you can do, but uh, yeah, as, long as, as long as it's clean, that's the thing for me. Rider, you least like to race against them. Why? It's <laughs> a long list, mate. Uh, what? I mean, you make enemies in races. I think this is part of the sport, isn't it? We're fighting for position and we got rivals. Um, I don't have enemies. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, but to pinpoint, I'm going to say more like go from a different angle and say a rider who is hard to race against. I remember who was always like a bit of a needle on our side, it was Contador. Mm. Because as a GC rider, he was so predictable one year. You would race, you know, many yeah. other guys and you'd know what they want to do. They'd wait till the end, they'd wait till the final climb. But Contador was... Especially if he was behind a bit, if he was fourth or fifth. If he was fourth or fifth, if he was, he was six, eight minutes, he'd go on the first climb and he was a pain in the ass in a good way, in an aggressive way, in a style that he had big balls. So. I'd say he was the trickiest to, to race against in the ground. 
Gary, what's your advice for anyone looking to get into racing? Uh, well, I think just get a bike first. Yeah. But that's a good start. Isn't it? <laughs> just get down to local, try and find a local club and just get some advice off local riders, you know, yeah. do it and majority of people are, are welcoming and even if you are new to it, you know, it can be a bit of a stigma sometimes like, oh, I don't know anything about this. I might look at an idiot or whatever, but you won't. But I've also started a foundation, you know, this year, right. just launched, yeah. Don't actually know about this. Just trying to make cycling more accessible, basically. So it's nothing to do with racing so much, but more, you know, the only reason I got into it was because mainly was down the road, out of Belgium. Like your dad and mum rode, but my parents didn't, so I never would have done it if it wasn't for that. So it's just trying to, make it easier for kids to, because a lot of kids get a bike for Christmas or yeah. you know, birthday or whatever, so. Getting them somewhere to do it safely or, you know, helping local clubs with a bit more money to get them into it. It's a very broad thing at the minute, but um, yeah, it's a way to do it. Nice dish. Yeah, congrats. Man. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Who's the biggest character in the team? I think we got a few. Probably this is the most fun team throughout the whole course of my time, professional time, right? And I just finished a race with Plappy. I'd say he's up there. He, have you done a race with Plappy yet? Yeah, I did Roman do that. He's up there, he's funny, I like him. Um, I think me and you are quite big characters on the team, uh, going through history. Teo. Well, Teo, he's loud. loud, yeah. I sat next to him on the bus in Norway. It was, had my headphones on. Um, well, Pools. Back in the day, he was a big character, wasn't he? Mm. He was good for like morale, wasn't he? He was always just—he was always happy, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, you get dad jokes. He was just like next level, stupid joke, yeah. like not even funny jokes, yeah. but like he's so Dutch, wasn't yeah. he? But he was good to have around. What's your favorite SS product, and what's your favorite flavor? So at the minute, it's those chews, Beta Fuel chews. <laughs> it's quite hard to say, isn't it? But you know, the chews, the jelly things, the shot chews. Choose, choose. Um, but yeah, no, they, they are good. They're like, you know, high in carbs, easy yeah. to have. What flavor? Tasty. Ah, there's orange or lemon, isn't there? Yeah, I'd probably go orange, because I've had quite a lot of lemon recently. Mix it up, you know, keep the body guessing. Yours? Favorite flavor out of them two is orange. Mm. But uh, probably my favorite product as well. Because mm. they're quite new, aren't they? You and we eat so it, much man. of the same stuff that <clears throat> your body gets used to it. So they're quite new, they're mm. fresh on the market. And they're lovely. Tidy. Who's the best teammate in training? Yeah, there's lots of different factors that make a good training partner, isn't there? Good chat, the right speed. Pays for coffees. Yeah, that's minus one for you. Um, I'd say me and you do some good rides, we get it done. Um, I pay for the coffees. Creato's good, plans the route, you don't have to think about anything. Um, Main thing is the chat, innit? Yeah, I'll, I'll go on, I'll see you. Oh, I'll see you. We'll have a good chat now. Like that. <laughs> oh, what's the most important thing you've learned from each other? Well, Mr. and Mrs. this, isn't it? <laughs> most important thing I've learned from you. What have I taught you? Uh, uh, what not to do, basically, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You taught me how to be professional by being unprofessional. <laughs> do, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Exactly, yeah. yeah. All right, mate. I, I guess you don't really have time, do we, to go through everything? Oh, well, I can't think of anything. Um, no, I guess credit where credit's due when the time's right. I think you have a good balance between, right, now I have to work hard, now I'm professional, and you dedicate everything to it and then got the ability to switch off from that, which a lot of guys haven't, and enjoy your life. And I think that's something that I do as well. Um, mm. So I think that's... 2018 was good in that one. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> you got to celebrate things though, don't we? And I think people get a bit lost in the moment where... Yeah, what well, about the next race, isn't it? If you do good stuff, you got to go big. Exactly. Enjoy the good times. What do you eat before a typical race? If it's a big race, I'll just keep it really simple. Um, pasta, an omelette. Um, I won't go for any cereal or any bread. I'll just normally just go big plate of pasta and uh, 
Any sauce nice. or just oil? Uh, yeah, I quite just like oil and salt. Just weird down sauce quite, in the morning. Yeah, yeah I'm quite si quite simple. Oil, salt. Yeah. Um, but maybe mash your egg in a bit. Italians won't appreciate that. But what does it mean to be an Ineos Grenadier? A robust, big weapon of a rider trying to be like a vehicle. And obviously, it's uh, I guess it's kind of like a status symbol. It's uh, I'm certainly proud to be have that on my jersey and what it stands for. Um, yeah. Good answer. Thanks, mate. Finally, any superstitions? I uh, don't really have superstitions, but I like to just, or well, maybe it is a superstition, but just do these the same process before every stage. So I'll always put my numbers on on the way to the start. And, Aye. You know, I won't do it like the night before or anything like that. Yeah. Or, I don't know, it's just the same, yeah, do the same thing every day. You end up wearing the same shorts and jersey, and especially if you've had a good stage and oh, keep wearing these even though the next day you might bomb out but you still yeah. keep doing it so it's not really one thing that stands out but it's more just that routine you find comfort in as well there we are people that's a rasp.